Hey guys, I bought this 1000 watt magnetic induction heater online and I uh, wanted to try it out and show you uh, how it works and uh, tell you whether or not I think you should buy one. So stick around and find out what I think. So this is basically the box. It comes in a plastic box. It has some styrofoam that is molded in order to accept the pieces. This thing's super simple. It has a couple of these rings that you use to uh, actually surround the bolt that you want to heat up. And although this is not, this is a socket, but the idea is that you stick it over the bolt that you want to warm up and then it will heat it up and I will tell you it actually works pretty good uh, right now I'm replacing a lower control arm on my truck and I took it to have an alignment done and the guy said that he couldn't do one side because he couldn't get the uh, alignment bolts free in order to make the adjustments so I uh, bought the tool thinking that I would give it a try to see if that would free up the bolts without having to use an acetylene torch. And I just removed one of them and I was pretty impressed with it. So I decided that maybe I'll make a video to show you just how easy this is. So just uh, bear with me and I'll get the camera in position where I'm gonna remove the other bolt and show you just, just how easy it is. So hopefully you can see that bolt that I need to remove. It's pretty rusty. It actually doesn't look all that bad, but apparently the guy said that he was unable to remove it and he was unable to, or at least loosen it. He was unable to loosen the other one. So I'm gonna show you how long this takes to work. So right now I'm gonna plug the machine in and I will say that there's a red button on it. And originally I thought it was just an LED light, but it actually does you have to hold the button, it turns on the LED light, and then it starts to heat up whatever it is that you're trying to heat up. So here we go. First we put this on there. It's kind of big. It takes about 30 seconds, I'd say, before it really starts heating up. Eventually, the nut starts to turn black. You can start to see some of the smoke coming off of it. Stopwatch coming, but I'd say we're about 20 seconds into this. See in the shadow it's starting to turn red. It's kind of hard to see that it's turning red because the light on the camera is kind of illuminating that redness away. It is definitely not red. So I'm going to take this off. I'm 
gonna see if I can take this off without a pry bar or a, uh, ooh, nice little hot piece is falling on me. And oh yeah, nice. I had to put a little bit of effort into it, but I didn't have a pry bar or anything. This is just, I mean, this is a thing is loose. It is turning. I'm like, like, there's nothing to this. That's awesome. All right. So as you can see, that took me what 45 seconds, maybe a minute, before it turned red hot, and I was able to remove it with just uh, a socket and a I don't know, 16 inch bar, and I didn't have to pry or do anything too muscular. I just kind of. In fact, I'm laying on the ground in kind of an awkward angle. So if that gives you any indication of how much leverage I have down here, um, this is pretty cool. I didn't have to have uh, an acetylene torch or anything. I didn't have to bring any fire down here. I prefer not to have fire going on in my garage. So uh, this is this is pretty pretty effective, pretty safe. Uh, it does get super hot. You do have to remember that, hey, this thing is red hot. So once I am able to loosen it up, I do have to be cautious not to just grab a hold of that nut when it gets uh, to the point where you can turn it with your fingers. But other than that, it's pretty effective. So the only other comments I would really make about this thing, aside from being very effective, uh, is that I did read a bunch of reviews on it and there were a lot of good reviews, but there were quite a few not so good reviews. And you know, it's kind of hard to determine sometimes what people like to complain about versus what's actually an issue. So one thing that people com complained about was that they got quote unquote defective units and that when they shook it, they could hear things inside rattling. Now, mine has something in there rattling. However, does not cause the machine to fail to work. So I don't really care. Um, if it becomes an issue, then I'll figure out what to do about it. But uh, the other thing is that I do like it comes with the different size uh, rods. I don't know what you would call these things, but they uh, you can bend them if you need to bend them. This one, as you can see, I had to bend it a little bit. And then it comes with a really big one. Uh, I just used the medium one just now. And then this one, I believe, is if you need to create custom size. And uh, I haven't had to use this one yet. It seems that all that's in here is just a piece of copper, copper wiring, and then it's wrapped in like a uh, heat proof shielding material, like maybe fiberglass or something. But it comes in a cheap plastic container which I will probably keep and just set it on the shelf for when I need to use it. But I will tell you, part of the reason that I bought this thing was I was working on my wife's car and I tried to remove a bolt. It's a pinch joint bolt on her um, knuckle on her car and that thing snapped off. And so my job, my project turned into a um, maybe an hour and a half ball joint replacement to like an eight hour project because I had to drill all that out. I had to clear it out, put in a new bolt and, um, the ball joint of course was stuck in there and I, it was just a huge headache. So I thought to myself, if there's a way that I can, you know, get these stubborn bolts off without breaking them or without struggling with them, then it'll just make my day a lot easier. In fact, part of the reason I'm making the video is because I actually saved so much time trying to get the these things off that I thought, well, you know, I didn't break anything, so I didn't end up, you know, spending nine hours trying to fix it. So why not just make a three minute video and show other people that, you know, this is actually an effective tool and I would recommend buying one if you don't already have one or if you don't have a acetylene torch or if you don't like using your acetylene torch in your garage. Um, 
I would invest in one of these things, definitely. Well, I hope that you found this video to be informing or helpful. Uh, if you do decide to go out and buy one of these, um, please use the link in the description. It's an affiliate link that will help me earn a little bit of money to you know, help me put together these videos and support me. So again, I just want to thank you and uh, say, hey, check out our other videos if you're into things that are related to machinery and cars and all that fun stuff. All right, thanks. Thank you.